Hi guys, how are you going? Campbell here from Autodidactic. Hope you're having a fabulous day. And some news today, uh, I would call it good. This beast has died. He's died yesterday, age 87. Uh, and he was, of course, the head of the Rothschild, the Red Shields family, the banking dynasty, right, that has basically since the 1700s has ruled the banks and the money system in this realm. And, you know, we can see the harm they've done, basically accumulating all the wealth for themselves and not caring at all about the humans down here because this this thing is not human or was not human at all. Uh, he was just evil. There's nothing more you can say about it. We know the whole deal of how they rose to power. It was through a scam. It was through a scam uh, back in the 1700s when there was a war and basically Amschel Rothschild came in to England and this is him, Mayor Amschel Rothschild. And basically, back in the Napoleonic Wars, he went to Britain and spread the rumour through the stock market and through the country that Napoleon had won. And that, of course, was well would have been devastating to the English. And, of course, uh, that dropped the price of gold because no one had faith that England would be able to hold on to it anymore. And when that price dropped, he bought everything up for pennies on the dollar, as they say. And this is how they really accumulated their wealth in the beginning, is through deceit, which is their forte, right? They have been doing that for over 300 years now. This Amschel Rothschild, the original, had five sons, which he then sent out to the financial hubs in Europe. And they basically took those centres over because they had so much wealth. They accumulated so much in one transaction. And that was the start of this dynasty controlling this realm through money and lies. So here we are today, 2024, and the head of this family is gone. And by the way, this guy, this is who Mr. Burns from The Simpsons was created on, this evil banker who treated people like they didn't matter at all. That is Mr. Burns. So Mr. Burns, Lord, <laughs> right? Jacob Rothschild dies at age 87. And this has happened just uh, during the night, I'm in Australia. So this was on the 26th of February in the US. He, he's gone. And to me, this is the start. This is, you know, we've been seeing their whole system, their whole charade crumbling. I know a lot of people think that, you know, it's all bad and bad things are coming. But to me, I've just been watching the system, their system, the dark system collapse. And here we go, more proof that it is dying. So we are winning. We, the people, our power is coming back. Their power is diminishing very quickly. They are losing control. Uh, you know, you just have to have a look at what's going on, especially in America at the moment. The people have had enough. And now the kingpin of the Dark Ones has fallen. He is no more. So some good news, in my opinion. This is all starting to come to an end. And I see big changes coming up in the next few months. Uh, but unlike most people, I see these as good changes. And I've said it before, guys, get out there and live your life, your best life. Do not live your life based on this show, this movie that, that they are showing us daily through social media and, and all their other outlets like music, like, you know, the old, old style media, all this kind of stuff, people aren't buying it anymore. It's gone. 
and so is Mr. Burns. So I just wanted to do a bit of an update on this, let you know. Um, good times, guys. We are we are winning in more ways than one. So as I said before, create your best life. What do you want? Don't let these dark ones control your life through the narrative they put out because we are the power and this is we've got to stop giving our power to these people which we do through things like elections right we elect people to power so let's hold on to that power and not give it away and of course there's elections coming up in the u.s there's all these things happening but like i said we don't have to participate. We can take the power back. We can put humans back in the control seat. And when we do that, we will be able to create whatever we want. We'll be able to create a world like the world that we see when we look at the recent advanced civilization of Tartaria, if that's what you want to call it, but the old world. We can see what we achieved. We can see... You know, through all the, the buildings, through the art, the creativity, what people are capable of. And we are those people. We are capable of it. We can rebuild something new and so much better. So I just wanted to let you know this guy's gone. And to me, that's a sign of much better things to come. So I think there's going to be a lot of stuff going on that, that may shock us, but like I said, it, it's it's all going to be good. Like this system is in free fall, completely crumbling. So build your best life. Surround yourself with the best people you can. Form groups. And let's go forward together and create the world that we all want to live in. Remember in the end, nobody wins unless everybody wins. Come!